Hi, I'm Tosh from DIY Video Studio and today I'm going to be shooting a vertical video in my yard. It's going to be a simple video. I'm just going to shoot a tree and the corner of my uh, yard. Now, the thing is, I'm going to be using a mirrorless camera and normally you'd use it horizontally like that. Now, if I shoot the video like that, it means I'm going to have to crop off the sides when I get the clip into my editing program. So instead, I'm going to turn the camera through 90 degrees, have it on its side and shoot that way. The only thing is I'm going to have to cope with that when I get it into my editing program. So uh, I'm going to carry on now and then I'll show you how to turn the horizontal video into a vertical video. Open Premiere Pro and click on the new project button. The new project window will open and you can give the project a name. In this case I'm going to call the project Vertical Video. For the location, click on Browse and navigate to the location where you want to keep the project. If you don't have a folder created yet, you can click on the new folder button and create it. Since I've already navigated to my project folder, I'll just click on the Select Folder button. The new project window will open again, and if all the details are as you want them, just click OK. You now have your project, but no sequence. So the next step is to create the sequence. Go to the menu bar and click on File. Then in the submenu, click on Sequence the new sequence window will open. Unless you have previously created a vertical video sequence preset, you can now do that using one of the existing presets as a template. So click on the digital SLR folder to reveal three available presets. If you intend posting your video on social media, stick with DSLR 1080p 30 and click the settings tab. You can see that the frame size is currently the standard full high definition 1920 by 1080, giving an aspect ratio of 16 to 9. For vertical video, instead of an aspect ratio of 16 to 9, you need the reverse, an aspect ratio of 9 to 16. That's easy to do. You just need to switch over the values for the horizontal and vertical sizes. Change the horizontal size from 1920 to 1080. Then change the vertical size from 1080 to 1920. You shouldn't need to change any of the other settings. You could go ahead now and click OK to create the vertical sequence. But to save yourself time in the future, click on the Save Preset button instead. In the Save Sequence Preset window that opens, give it a name. I'm going to use Full HD Vertical Video as the name for this example. Once you've given the preset a name, click OK. Your new preset will have been saved in the custom folder in the list of available presets. Make sure that the preset is selected and then click OK to create the vertical video sequence. You can see that the monitor window is now the shape of a vertical video. To import a video clip, go to File. Then from the menu, click on Import. When the Import window opens, navigate to and select the clip that you want, then click Open. Your clip will appear in the project window. Now drag it to the start of the sequence timeline. The first thing you'll notice is that your video looks square, with the sides cropped. Don't worry, there's just one more step to go and everything will look fine. Remember when I shot the video, I turned my camera on its side to shoot in portrait mode. That was to make sure that I wouldn't have to crop the image and waste any picture information. To get the footage to look the way I saw it in the viewfinder, I just need to turn the clip on its side. So go to the video effects panel and change the clip rotation to minus 90 degrees. Your clip should now be upright and you can carry on with any editing or color grading that you want. Once you're done, you can export the video. However, to make things quicker for yourself the next time that you're editing, you can create an export preset. Go to File, then Export, and click on Media. The Export Settings window will open. If you twirl down the preset list, you won't see a preset for vertical video. 
If you do try one, say the YouTube 1080p Full HD preset, you'll see your output will become a widescreen video with black sidebars. So from the preset list, go back to what you had originally. For me, it was match source, high bitrate. Under the video tab, scroll to the bitrate settings and choose the ones that you want. I'll use variable bitrate to pass with a target bitrate of 8 megabits per second and a maximum of 10 megabits per second. To the right of the preset window, click on the Save Preset button. And when the window opens, give the export preset a name. I'll call it Vertical Video 30 frames per second and then click OK. You can then use that preset the next time you want to export a vertical video. Finally, click Export to start the encoding and you're done. If you've enjoyed this video, please click on the thumbs up button. And if you'd like to see more videos like this from DIY Video Studio, click the subscribe button and also the notify button. So next time I upload another video like this, you'll get notified straight away. Thanks very much for watching.